What's going on guys? Back with y'all after a Wizards dub. Feels good to get back in the winning column. Wizards defeat the Minnesota Timberwolves 115 to 107. Kyle Anthony Towns was a handful today. 34 points, 10 rebounds for him. He had a scary fall, but I mean, I, he said he was doing good. He said he felt better than he thought he was going to feel, so that's good. Anthony Edwards had 25. Thankfully, D'Angelo Russell was cold. 1 for 12 from 3. This was a good win, guys. The Minnesota Timberwolves were a good team. They were hot. I think they were like 8-1 and in their last 9 or something like that, I believe. I know they beat the 76ers and Pacers in their last two in a very close games. Timberwolves have been playing good ball, man. This was no easy win. This was no easy win, and I didn't expect it to be an easy win. But they got it done. Improved paint defense. They improved in the paint, defended better in the paint. They came out. They're 8-2 at home now. I'm proud of the job they did in the paint, man. Especially after that last performance against the Spurs where they shot over 50%. It would have been hard to top that defensive performance in the paint, but the Timberwolves only shot 42%, shot 30% from the field. I mean, they crushed them. Wizards crushed them on the boards. 39-52. Wizards only had 13 turnovers. For the Wizards' sake, that's pretty low. 13 is pretty low. Like, they're usually sometimes around that 17 in, but 13 is pretty low for them. They tied their season high in assists today with 34. The ball movement was... Prestine. It was a play like five minutes left in the fourth quarter, something like that. Bradley Bill got a steal. Uh, KCP ended up with it. Missed the reverse layup. Dale Gafford tipped it out. Dad tipped it out to Kuz at the three. Kuz kicked it back inside to the paint for Daniel Gafford for the Energizer dunk. Beautiful series of events. I mean, the ball was moving, man. The ball was moving. Wizards were attacking. Montrez Harrell had 27 points, 11 for 12 from the field, had 10 dunks the Timberwolves could not do anything with him I mean the pick and roll game etc I mean he ate anytime you have 10 dunks in a game your field goal percentage is going to be pretty high I mean they had no answers for him they had no answers Daniel Gafford both the bigs today did a good, tremendous job Daniel Gafford started it off early had three blocks in the game total he had two blocks on Carl Anthony Towns I believe he tried to dunk twice and DG blocked it twice and DG had his third straight double-double as well. So you love to see him getting his points. You love to see him on the boards. You love to see him getting those blocks. I mean, you know, I know DG went through a little period where some fans were saying maybe Montreal should start, etc. But DG's young, man. He's 23. This is his first time getting, like, real, real NBA minutes. Because in Chicago, he wasn't. He was on the bench. He wasn't getting that much minutes. And then in the middle of last year, he gets traded. And he was, like, getting 15 minutes, etc. because of cardio. So, this is his first taste of, like, real, legit, consistent, full NBA minutes. And, I mean, hey, he went through a rough patch, but he's back now. I mean, he's been that paint presence the Wizards have needed. So, I'm proud of him in the paint, man. I, I really am. KCP, 14 points. 3 for 6 from 3. He had the dagger corner 3 late in the 4th. Spencer had 11 assists. Bad shooting night from the field. I know a lot of people are worried about him not being able to really get past anybody when he attacks the basket, and it could be because of the torn ACL recovery, etc. But, I mean, I understand that because he doesn't really get past or blow past a lot of people a lot of the times. A lot of times it's a lot of tough buckets, buckets over top of people, etc. But it was a rough shooting night for him for today. But he did facilitate, got the 11 assists. Kyle Kuzma, pretty quiet night. 5.6 rebounds, 5 assists. Bradley Bill had 19 points. Rough shooting night. But he did continue to attack. I mean, he shot five threes. But um, he still ended with 19, even though it was on 20 shots. Montrez Harrell already spoke about him. Didn't Yavdi, I feel like, had a decent game. 9.7 rebounds. He went one for four from three. But I like the confidence that he's shooting the three ball with. I like the confidence that he's shooting it with. Keep doing that. Keep shooting it, Denny. Um, Corey Kisper had two points. He had a nice backdoor cut. I like him and Neto's off-ball movement. Neto had three points, but he had one bucket where he cut backdoor. I'm loving the off-ball movement for those guys. You don't got to just sit at the three-point line and stare. You can create offense by cutting and getting to the basket as well, especially knowing the Timberwolves were struggling defending the paint today. Davies Bertans. I saved him specifically for last. I saved Davies specifically for last. The Latvian brick was the Latvian laser today. 
he shot three for four from three. It was five for six from the field, 15 points in 16 minutes. I like 16 minutes for him. You don't need to be playing 30 minutes, etc. I like 16 minutes, maybe 20 or something like that if he's hot. I mean, I'm not here screaming that Davies Bertans is back. I'm not signing no apology forms. He had a good game. After like 50 bad games. The key is consistency. We got to see it. The fans want to see it against the Cavaliers, man. You can't have a game like this, Davies. And then the next game, you back shooting 1 for 5, 0 for 4, etc. And we back at square 1. The key is showing consistency, man. That's what everybody wants to see from him. But other than that, I think Davies had a very good game today. Because he shot the ball well. Anytime Davies shoots the ball well, he had a good game. I don't care about what he did defensively because that's not what he's here for. He's here to shoot the ball and make the three. And he did that today. So that's a good game for him. I mean, guys, Wizards shot 49% from the field. That's crazy. They struggled from three again, 31%. But as long as they don't fall in love with the three, like they have in certain games, and they continue to attack the weakness inside the paint, we looking pretty good, man. Um, I mean, this was a good win. 14 and 8. I know the Wizards have their struggles at times offensively, sometimes defensively, but they got it done today. And it was a good W today. One thing I will say, they're 8 and 2 at home. They got to continue to bring this home cooking onto the road and make it road cooking. They can't be average on the road and really good at home. You know, you can't be really good at home and just be like 500 ish on the road. You're not going to end up being a like really good team. You're just going to be like an okay team. You want to be a good team. Good teams are good on the road. And a big factor, I think, to helping them be good on the road is defending the paint. That Pelicans game in New Orleans, Valachunas killed them. Uh, that game without Daniel Gafford in Miami, bam, Jimmy killed them inside. Game against the Spurs in San Antonio, Derek White, DeJounte Murray, Jacob Pirtle, Thaddeus Young killed them in the paint. Killed them. I mean, you, you got to protect the paint on the road and not let them get easy way, easy buckets, man, in that paint. And also, you have to continue to bring the energy. I told you about that. I spoke about the energizing play with Kuz, the DG, etc. I mean, hey, they got to have this energy on the road, man. You're not always going to have a home crowd there. You need yourselves and your bench, etc. to get you hype on the road and to keep that energy. This team is good when they're energized. They're good when they're energized. I mean... They got to keep it up on the road. That's the only thing I would say. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good W today. I'm happy. I'm feeling good. How do you guys feel about the game? How do you guys feel about the win? Big win. Big win, man. Cleveland next. Tough game against Cleveland. With Jared Allen and Evan Moby and Kevin Love, etc. And marketing. Darius Garland. Got a good squad over there. They got a good squad. They got some injuries, but they got some good, good guys over there too, man. So, it'll be a tough game. They come into Washington. Let's see if we can get on another two-game winning streak. So let me know how you guys felt. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm glad I can finally end it off with this today, guys. And hopefully I can on Friday, too. But we're going to end the video off with a dub. Peace.